The judge says the sole survivor of the deadly Cheshire home invasion can be in the courtroom when witnesses testify at the next month's trial of Joshua Kamazerjewski. Kamazerjewski's lawyers wanted Dr. William Pettit sequestered. News 8's Mark Robbins on the scene at New Haven Superior Court with the latest. Dr. William Pettit was a fixture at the first trial of the Cheshire home invasion, and today he was fighting to make sure he'll be there for the second one. He's made the walk so many more times than he cares to remember. But this one was critical to his appearance in the courtroom for the upcoming trial of Joshua Kamersarjewski. The defense filed a motion to keep Dr. Pettit out of the courtroom. The state office for victim rights wouldn't stand for it. There was an issue by defense whether or not the state had standing to assert a victim's right. And our office does have standing. After today's decision by Judge John Blue, Dr. Pettit said he is grateful his rights are being preserved. Uh, so we're very happy that the state's attorney and the Office of Victims Advocate uh, reasserted the rights of uh, victims to be present during criminal proceedings. Clear and simple. Dr. Pettit is the sole survivor of the 2007 home invasion in Cheshire that took the life of his wife and two daughters. It's definitely a victory for crime victims because they get acknowledged that they, they have a right to, they have certain state constitutional rights and they mean something. Attorneys for Commissar Jeffsky claim that during last year's trial of Stephen Hayes, Dr. Pettit made reference to the testimony by other witnesses, and his comments to the press suggested he was seeking revenge. He has a right to free speech. He, there's no gag order against him. Um, you know, he's been through a horrific ordeal, and as you know, he has to come up and down the street every day, and I think it's very hard for him to do that and not ever say anything. Many in the courtroom believe today's ruling will go a long way to further acknowledge victims' rights in future trials and proceedings. We're hopeful that, you know, as we progress in victims' rights that, you know, attorneys will understand that victims have a place at the table. The defendant's rights will not be impinged upon by simply giving victims constitutional rights that they were afforded over a decade ago. The Joshua Kamersarjewski trial is set to begin in mid-September. On the scene in New Haven, I'm Mark Robbins, News 8.